problem is not easy to solve if you don't have any clue how to approach it. So we have uh, basically three pieces of data here, and they may seem non-connected to each other, but actually there is all that we need to know to solve this puzzle. And the question was, uh, if you get positive test result, would you take the medicine? Uh, you have to know the probabilities, uh, whether you should take it or not, because wrong decision will be deadly. So, okay, uh, we don't have to do anything but uh, calculate uh, reliability of the positive test results. So if uh, it's more than 50% reliable, we should take the medicine and otherwise not. And here's how I structured the problem. Um, we, we had knowledge about uh, whether people, whether a person has virus here or has not virus. And on the other hand, uh, what is the test result? And I, I mean, uh, if the test result is positive or test result is negative. So we have correct results A and B and false results C and B. And the first throw uh, was that uh, this many percent of population will get infected. So has virus? Yes, this is the truth. This is what the results tell. So A plus C is 1.3%. The next one. Uh, the test is almost 95% reliable. So A and D are reliable results. For example, a person has not virus and the test result says he or she has not virus, so that's reliable. This is false, this is false, and this is also true. This is reliable also. So A plus D is 94.9%. Uh, then third equation will be uh, the reliability of a negative test is 98.75%. So these are negative test results, and this is a confidential uh, result for that. So if we divide D by C plus D, so all negative test results, we get the uh, proportion of reliable results. And now we want to um, get values for each of these uh, uh, variables A, B, C and D. And for that we need fourth equation, uh, which will be A plus B plus C plus D it will be in total 100% as each test result will represent one of these four. And now when we solve uh, these four equations, we will get the values. Uh, you can do it by hand, but I used uh, wallframalpha.com. I just uh, wrote down these four equations separated by commas, and I got the results here. And I show it uh, from my Excel workbook. It's in the other sheet here. So A, B, C, and D. Here are our, our uh, variables. And now let's get back to our question. And we wanted to know whether, uh, or actually we want to know what is the reliability of the positive test results. And we already calculated reliability of negative test result. So it's the similar manner. Uh, so positive test results are here, so this was A and this was B, so, or actually it doesn't matter anymore what, what the letter was, but, uh, so this is a reliable positive result and this is false, like non-reliable. So if we divide this 0.1% uh, by the sum of these all positive uh, test outcomes or results, uh, we will get uh, 0 0.1 divided by 4 and it will be 2.5%. So uh, positive test results will be extremely unreliable and that's why uh, you should not take the medicine even though you get positive result from the test. That's all.